Peacock, pretty bird, pretty bird. Yes, how about you big people? You can admit it too, yes? <laughs> <laughs> My friends, I ask you this because I received so many letters and I'm going, to, I'm going to share with you one of my favorites. It came to me from a little girl named Babette who lives with her uncle Louis and her big brother Francois on a farm de Le Beau in the mountains of Provence. And I, hope, and I hope it will give you a taste, a small taste of the holiday season of France. Écoutez, that means listen. She writes, uh, Dear Père Noël, even though my big brother Francois says that Christmas is for babies, oh, I look forward to La Vallée du Petit Jésus 
and a visit from you. Well, of course she does. <laughs> the watch night, Christmas Eve, is a magical evening when my family sits in front of the fire, sipping hot cider, and Uncle Louis tells us the story of the birth of the baby Jesus. Uh, now she goes on to say that big brother Francois, he teases her about this. You see, he does not believe in Christmas. He does not believe in Père Noël, but for me, for me, nothing can surpass the magic of the watch night or the fragile beauty on a child's face on Christmas morning. Yeah? <laughs> oh Lord, with Christmas still several weeks away, Uncle Louis will uh, secretly decorate the Christmas tree and the veteran Francois will set up the crash. Do you know this word crash? Nativity scene. It is one of the most important symbols of the Christmas season to the French even if it was invented by an Italian. <laughs> oh, St. Francis of Assisi, so he's okay too. Huh? Now, you know the little statues you place inside the crash of Mary and Joseph, the three wise men, little drummer boy? Well, in Provence, where Babette lives, it is also tradition to include statues of people from your village, huh? the baker, the priest, little figures made out of clay, called Santon, Little Sex. And Babette's wish for Christmas last year was for another Santon, another little saint to place inside her manger scene as if it were going to worship the baby Jesus. It is a lovely tradition, no? Oh, oh last year Babette was also finally old enough to go to midnight mass with Uncle Louis. Amazing and me, oh, it's like that. Very beautiful. Uncle. the entire tale? Don't move. <laughs> I'm joking. You will be marching soon enough. Now remember, Belle doesn't know you're here. So, shh, I shall call her in. And when she enters, we'll all shout, surprise! Oh wow, they're even directly underneath of us. They're coming to be fed. You want to feed them? Coral Narcy, the water is as blue as the loveliest cornflower, and as pure as the clearest glass, and it is deep. Here dwell a strange and wondrous race of people. Half human, half fish. These peaceful creatures spend their time tending to their undersea gardens. They offer food to the fish, who eat right out of their hands.
Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing this morning? Good. Good. This is Captain Marty. I'm Captain Heather. We'd like to welcome you aboard the Inlet Explorer. Wikiwachi is Seminole Indian. Roughly translates to Little Spring. Not so little, though. It's a first magnitude spring. Puts out about 90 million gallons of water every day. We have a constant water temperature of 74 degrees and a water purity of 99.8%. It is perfectly drinkable water. We suggest you do it upstream of the kiddie pool for obvious reasons. Mm. The spring feeds the Wikiwachi River, which we're on now. It winds down 12 miles out to the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to be that at Bayport. Any boat can come up to our boat dock, makes us a navigable waterway, puts us under Coast Guard jurisdiction, means a few rules and regulations to cover with you. First of all, please remain seated and do not hang out over the railing. We do have life preservers provided for you. Children life jackets are under the front left bench. Adult life jackets are under the outside benches. 